YouTube, what's good? What's happening? What's cracking? I'm back. Listen, yeah, I'm a little bit happy. I wouldn't say happy, but yeah, I'm happy. Madrid drop points. Is if Madrid drop points, I'm happy. But uh, yeah, because it was really close to them taking out three points home. But um, Korea came up big. But uh, let's talk about Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid. First of all, that game being stopped, you know, due to fans covering their faces and then chanting racist stuff is just that was just crazy man and unfortunately we're gonna keep seeing stuff like this in la liga and all over the world because racism just doesn't go away unfortunately so now these fans are covering their fence so they don't get spotted out and then some people are saying kotoa say something to the fans and then blah 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 but that's things we don't want to see let's talk about football right um first of all today real madrid Aleti didn't look like the Real Madrid Aleti that I was expecting. When they played each other last season, there was there was a lot of goals and it was a lot more entertaining, a lot more exciting. That first half was kind of dead, to be fair. Alvarez did, you know, try to bring a little bit of light down the flanks, taking on a uh, getting past Rudiger and then getting a shot off. Saw a lot, couple of chances here and there. Uh, one good chance with his head. Didn't really do anything with it, but yeah, that that was about it. So not much, not much in that first half but um i mean in the second half after you know Melitao got that volley little deflection in the back of the net the game did come to life but a korea of the bench again makes a difference for atletico madrid and uh yeah i really expect atleti to play a lot better with this team that they have and for the first time like i said i think i made a video about this i the, we finally see you know simeone playing soloth uh, Alvarez, and uh, griezmann all in the same starting lineup and uh it wasn't the best because solid didn't solid didn't play his best but Alvarez was played Alvarez played pretty decent down the wing i'm not gonna lie but then again <clears throat> you think with will come from somewhere lino and uh lorente by the way crazy challenge from him today that 100 percent deserve the red card but this win i think is more of what this win means uh, still with three points three points is still nothing i mean let's say we were to play madrid next game even if we lost, unless we lose, we lose by a lot of goals, like five goals difference. I think we have compared to Madrid. I think we'll still be up top. So we'll still be first, but we are not. I mean, we are first right now, but we're not going to rely on that. We definitely need to increase our gap way more than that before then. Is it possible? I'm not too sure. We can only focus on ourselves and try to win. If Madrid slip up, they slip up. But uh, Aleti still don't look like with that team, they'll be able to achieve what you know is expected of them this season. And as for Real Madrid, let's talk about Real Madrid a little bit because this team was expected to win a quadruple and it's not looking like it's going to happen so far. Like I said, I, don't, I didn't think they were going to play better football than they did last season because it was near impossible considering the fact that they only lost two games last season and both against Aleti, one in the Cup, the Copa del Rey and one in the league. So come on you cannot top that that's just not how football works even if you if you improve your team by a lot even if you improve every player in the team it, that's just not how football works like i was trying to explain it doesn't make sense but even if they had their players last season like their defenders like they do now instead i think they lost they lose more games last season doesn't mean they don't win all the trophies that they won but i think instead they don't do as good because that's just football you take away one player or one thing you're taking away the entire game so that's that part and um when it comes to real madrid i mean Mbappe was a big miss today for them 100 percent. i think if Mbappe was there he would have seen a lot more attacking and he would have, he would have given them uh, a lot more chance to win the game a bigger chance so definitely a big miss today i think his injury is like three weeks that's uh i think madrid should be able to cope without him now it looks like they're going to play back the formation they played last season with bellingham just a little bit behind Vinicius Junior and rodrigo but uh, yet again, they still lack that creator in the midfield. Modric here and there, but he's still not doing what Tony Cruz used to do. And um, overall, I don't think Real Madrid will do as good as expected. They can still turn the season around, but I don't think they're winning the quadruple. Or they're going to play this team that everyone expected to just blow everyone away and win everything and collect everything and pretty much win every game in La Liga. Considering the fact that, you know, they bought the best player in the world on top of what they already had. So the expectations kind of made sense, but we all know that's not how football works. Unless you are delusional, that's just not how football works. And listen, this draw is good for us we've slipped out against osasuna it would have been a lot better so we take what we you know what we get but uh i think this 
this can be a three way race this la liga title but i don't trust atletico not because of the players that they have i think the players that they have can produce i don't know sometimes the kind of football that simeone plays i just cannot understand i just do not understand this this team should be in a way better position and they should be playing way better football than they are right now i mean we could go to the real madrid team with bellingham is not playing today he played that kind of position that he played last season but he was not playing that kind of a uh, position this season and that's not where he's going to play this throughout the season because now they have Mbappe and you know it's still the whole problem of they don't have a real number nine and then you know they are going to play uh they, they, they everybody wants to play like a left winger including Rodrigo that starts as a right winger doesn't really offer that much attacking threat down the right side because his preferred position is down the left side today do I think Real Madrid could have done better to get the win yes uh, the, it, it, I think the result is fair because, listen, there were times in the game where it was Aleti, 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 and Aleti is always look their best, especially against Madrid. We see it all the time. Even the games last season, they look their best when they are when they are losing against Madrid. When they are winning, they become they just get too comfortable. They go back to their defensive shape, and not really much, you know, is going on. And then the game gets dull. I feel like they should start every game and play every game like they are losing. I think that will make them play a lot better, but. I'm interested to see how this season goes. Right now, it's looking like it's going to be a close one, and we cannot afford to drop points because Madrid is always going to be looking, you know, Madrid is always going to be right there looking to get something. And now on the bench, Ada Gole is going to come on here and there as we see, but, you know, not going to get that much game time. It looks like Hendrik has come on in every single game so far this season, including today, where he kicked the ball. Why he had Bellingham sprinting like 80 yards, he didn't give him that ball. Now, I'm going to say this to you, Madrid fans, and I told you guys this last time this happened, and you didn't want to believe me, or you didn't want to accept, agree with me. Oh, you, you were busy hyping, you know, Hendrik for his goal, but first of all, that goal in the Champions League against Stuttgart was a fluke. Good shot, fair play, but again, then again, the keeper made a huge mistake. But the right decision there was to pass the ball because you have Hendrik. Hendrik had Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. running down the wings and then decide or to the left and right of him and then decide to go for goal from there, which was the wrong decision. Ended up in the back of the net, fair play. But then again, your decision making has to improve. That to, Like we saw today, you got to put that pass that ball to Bellingham. He went for a shot and of course, the same thing was not going to happen. And it, at the end of the day, it's just a poor decision. And we, it's something that I feel like we're going to keep seeing. Listen, fair play to have, you know, Bellingham. Sorry. to Yeah, to have Bellingham even today. And then to have Vinicius Junior and Mbappe running down the wings or running, you know, providing you good or better options. And then go for a shot. It's pretty bold. It shows that, you know, he's his own man and he's not shy in this team full of stars. But then again, that should not be the reason why you're making bad decisions. Like we saw that he made a bad decision to go for goal. There, that could have that could have helped them maybe create a play there or try to slow down the play and uh you know at least try to keep the ball for a little bit maybe they, you know they don't end up conceding and you know tying that game which would have helped them you know uh, uh close the gap to one point but uh now it's still three point i'm happy for my Barca, but I don't know for Real Madrid. I don't know at the end of the day. I don't know what's going to happen because you can't, you can't, this team is going to be, it's harder than it looks because first of all, if you say they got to get a real number nine, it, what, how, what would that change? Who are you dropping for a real number nine? If Real Madrid was to get a real number nine or start playing Hendrik, you are not dropping Vinicius Jr. I know he was on the bench the other day. He came off the bench, score, gave a crazy assist and score a goal. I gave the assist to Rodrigo to put them up and then score a goal. Who was it against in, in La Liga? You know, so was it against Espanol, I believe? It was against Espanol. So again, you cannot just do that. It's just not going to work. You can't just throw them. If they were to buy a number nine out, then what? How are they going to play? W what is going to happen? What it was Rodrigo going to leave and then Vinicius Jr. or Mbappe plays as a, as a right winger? How are they going to play? Even if they can get a number nine now, it's still complicated. Unless it's between Vinicius Jr. and Mbappe. They play the same position. I think that's really where it really comes down to. The fact that those two play po the same position, one of them is going to have to leave eventually if they want to, you know, have a balanced attack. And then they're going to have to get a right winger. Prefer preferably a right-footed one. Like you see the way Yamaha play for us. He's a right winger. He get the ball on the right side and try to beat, you know, try to beat his man or try to take on players. Like I, I I've been saying this for the longest since Gary Bale, Real Madrid have a right attacking threat. But at the end of the day, I'm not gonna talk much. 
I think Real Madrid will become a lot better. I think they have a better chance of winning the Champions League now because when we see them play this kind of football, they somehow find a way to go all the way in the Champions League. But in league football right now, it's not looking like they're going to win it. I'm not going to say we're going to win it. It's too early, but a lot can change 100%. You know, improvement we'll see from Madrid and uh, things will change. I think we'll see improvement from them for, from them for sure. But right now, it's not looking like the Madrid that everyone expected. And when it comes to, you know, the Madrid derby, the Madrid derby is always going to be a Madrid derby. There's always going to be fights. It's always going to be, look like a war. And uh, it, it couldn't just finish today without a red card, could it? And, um, very bad challenge from Lorente, deserving of a red. But that's a Madrid derby. As a Barca fan, I'm happy with the result. As a neutral, the game could have been better. But hey, ended 1-1 Korea with a good goal. And uh, yeah, to be fair, I think that was a fair result of that game. So let's see how it goes from here. Hopefully, Barca can pull through, keep on winning. And um, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.